Hello friends, Hal here. We are going to work on the F chord today. This is kind of a tricky chord. It gives people a lot of trouble. And this F chord that I'm going to show you is really just a four string F chord, just like that. You'll notice that I'm not sitting facing you. I'm actually sitting this direction. If I face you and keep my guitar the same in relation to my body, I've got a 45 degree angle like this. See that? It's not like this, but it's like that. And what happens is I put my hand up against the back of the neck and then just lay my fingers down against the, uh, the fretboard like that. So here's your F chord. I'm actually playing on the sides of my fingers right here. Remember, I'm sitting this way and my guitar is this way. So I'm putting my hand right up against there, playing my F chord. You can drop this thumb a little bit if you want, make a little space between your hand and the guitar neck. That works too. Or you can have your the back of your hand right here right up against that neck. And that works too. It's easy to go from C to F if you've got your hand right up against there. It feels comfortable to me. You can also drop your hand and do that too. But um, either way works great. I do both. So just find out what works good for you. If it gives you some trouble, make sure that you're not bringing your guitar back too far this way. Make sure you've got it out like that. And if you need to simplify it, if this is giving you a lot of trouble right here, push, pushing two strings down with one finger, then what you can do is you can actually just push one string down with your index finger, with your first finger. And you don't even have to worry about the E string if you don't want to. Just let it let this finger touch it so you mute it. So then you put the next finger down and the next finger down. So really what you're playing are these three strings right here. The D string, the G string, and the B string, like that. And the E string is muted. Well, there's the F chord. Thanks for coming by and we'll see you real soon. If you have any questions, just drop them down below and I'll get back to you.